Hey guys, so here's the answers to worksheet one. I, it turns out I did not have a video, so I'm making this now just for you. Um, so the first three questions are about scientific notation. Remember, we're only supposed to have one number and then the decimal. So you see like 6.5 in the first answer, 4.8 and 2.3, one number, decimal, and then the rest of the numbers. Uh, and then after that, we're multiplying by 10 and some factor of 10. Um, and then the factor of 10 is really based upon the number. So in number one, we have 600, 650. So six times 10 squared, 10 squared is 100. So we have six times 10 squared, six times 100 is 600. So we're really trying to express these as a factor, as a, as a function of 10. So if you figure out what the first number is worth, like in number two, that is 4 million, uh, 820,000. So it should be four times a million and 10 to the six is a million. And then number three, we have two, let's see, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So that's in the thousandths place, which is 10 to the minus third. Of course, most of you probably just move the decimal. And that's fine too. I just like to explain it as well. Same thing's going on with number four. Now, when we get to number five, we have our uh, significant figures rules. And I prefer to use the, the acronym -y thing. Uh, where do we go? It's like, um, oh, what's the yellow? Who picks the yellow to write with? There we go. So we usually oh, can't write with that either. Where's the pen? The pen? So, uh, why can't I write? Well, whatever. Um, when we are uh, doing sigma figures in the notes, we wrote L, O, and R, left, trapped, zeros, and right zeros. Lefty zeros are never counted. Uh, number one, those are examples of righty zeros. You know, they're only counted when there's a decimal and there isn't one, so that's only one significant figure. Same thing in number eight. The four, eight, two, eight are all sig figs, but the two zeros are not. Number nine, we have a bunch of lefty zeros and lefties never count. So that's just the two sig figs, the three and the five. Number 10, we have lefties and a trapped. The lefties don't count, but the trap does. That's why we have three. And then we have number 11, which is a lefty, a zero and a trapped. Cool. So, ooh, ooh I like the laser pointer. We're definitely using that from now on. Look forward to that on the next slide. Boom, here we are on the next slide. So we have the answers revealed, which is totally fine. Um, we're looking down here, and that looks like it's just after the 2 and 2.2. 2. Remember, it's fact, fact, estimate. And we do a good job making that estimate. Um, you might have 224 or 226. Both of those would also be considered fine. Then here, this was a hard number. This is 0. 0.5. 1, 0 0.52, 0 0.53. So we're between 0 0.52 and 0 0.53. A lot of people don't realize how small these increments are because they don't look at these two numbers. And so I we was we said 0 0.522 for that one extra value. And then again, determine the number of significant figures. Lefties never count, righties only count if there's a decimal, trapped. So these are the same set of rules. Man, that laser pointer, that was good stuff. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Trapped. I mean, lefty, lefty, lefty. Right, right, right. Trapped. Trapped, trapped. Right. Ooh, that's a good one. So the two is a fact. The zero is a fact. The zero is a fact. The four is a fact. And then this zero is a righty zero. And there's a decimal. So the only reason they wrote that zero down is because they think it's on the line there. So that's an interesting one. All right, moving on. Uh, scientific notation and rounded to two significant figures. So let's, let's, I'm going to talk about the sig fig part first. Remember, these are lefties, so they don't count. So the four, nine, six, four, nine, six, but rounded to two sig figs, you get rid of the six and five, zero. Uh, two, nine, those are our first two sig figs. Three, seven, those are our first two sig figs. When we do the rounding, putting in normal uh, scientific notation, that's fine. And then writing down the equivalencies, that's good right there. Okay, make sure you know your equivalencies for uh, prefixes. Put these are three sig figs. Um, why is this one only three sig figs? Well, we're good with the four, five, and seven. We rounded the eight up. 
that we have to put a zero there, but that zero does not have a decimal. There's no decimal, so it's not a significant figure. Whereas in number 36, we have five, seven, nine. We round that six up, turns the nine into a zero, turns the seven into an eight. And now we write it down. This zero needs to be written, otherwise it's two sig figs. Watch, I'll hide it. Now you can't see it. it looks like it's two sig figs. It's 5.8. 5.80 is three sig figs. The decimal activates the righty zero. These are lefty zeros. They don't count. What do we mean when we discuss the concept of sigma figure? We're talking about uh, how well we know the numbers, uh, all the numbers we know that are facts, and then the number that's an estimate. Uh, we're indicating how good the measurements were. And then reading graduated cylinders, we can see the before and after. We can see it's changing from 200 to 300. That's going up by about 100. Um, but this question is really about issues you might have. Um, maybe you misread the graduated cylinder. Um, maybe you're quick and shoddy, um, things like that. Um, one thing you're supposed to do in the lab is I make a measurement, I have my partner read it, I have my other partner read it, and we all agree pretty much on the measurement all the way down to the estimate. Now, if we get to the estimate and we disagree, that's okay, it happens. But we shouldn't disagree on the facts, the facts, and the facts, just the one estimate, just the final value. All right, this has been Mr. Murphy's Answers to Worksheet 1, the speed edition. You can also check out the PDF edition in Schoology.